I'm not a hero, but I'm gonna pretend to be one for a moment. I'm gonna go where no man has gone before. A place where God prayed his children would never find. The last page of myanimelist.com Much like Indiana Jones, I've been consumed with the idea of discovery. I want to find and watch the worst anime ever made. Like the objective biggest pile of dog shit ever for anime. And what better place to start than rank 12,638 on my anime list. This is the lowest rating on the entire site. Everything below this is unrated so it either never came out or just doesn't exist. So the lowest one here is Tinku Danzai Skelter Plus Heaven. So the mission is pretty simple and there's a very clear starting point here for my noble crusade. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and I'm not a pussy, so I'm gonna take that first step no problem. Now unlike Indiana Jones, I won't be shielding my eyes when I open the Ark of the Covenant here with the worst anime on this site. I'm going to pop this bitch open and just embrace this miasma of filth as it melts my flesh with how god awful I already know. Helter, Skeven, whatever the fuck it's called, Tinku Danzai, Skelt, Seltzer, whatever the fuck. I already know it's going to be bad, but going into this, the one right above it is actually what I want to talk about first. There are some confusing and wacky little tiddlywinks of trash on this list that pretty much no one would consider anime. Not because they're elitist, but because they're like two minute YouTube poop shorts, like this. This piece of content here is two minutes and fifty seconds-ish and it's on YouTube. This girl is Sayuri. Sayuri! This creature is Sayuri's mama. Mama! This creature is Sayuri's papa. Papa! Hiroshi Sayuri! Mama, papa, mama, papa! Mm. Now you know how it feels to chew five gum. This shit looks like a little tool music video, kind of. It's very peculiar, but I wouldn't really consider it like an anime per se. It's just more of like a small shit post that for some reason has a my anime listing. So when going to going through all of this to look for the worst anime ever made, things like this I probably won't even bother considering. I just wanted to put that out there right away, since there's multiple entries like this on there. So, let's go ahead and dive into the lowest ranked anime on the site. Tenku Danzai Skelter plus Heaven equals garbage, I suppose. Well, this was a lot worse than I expected it to be. I'm pretty sure this was made by someone who escaped a lobotomy mid-operation. So you start this piece of shit by slowly zooming in on this marble that's supposed to be the earth while a heartbeat sound goes on for like a minute. It overstays its welcome almost immediately and it's the longest shot in the entire movie. This is 20 minutes of pure agony. But it's not all bad though, at least they translated it to English using Babblefish. Skelter plus Heaven. Her fate which does not get used to by nature, machines was left to your hand. The human body arms which had the program embedded so that a command may be obeyed from from when born. That's Socrates level wisdom right there. This sounds like a poor translation from some random person in the YouTube comments, but it's actually what they used in the movie. <laughs> Luckily, the plot's super easy. There's a squid here, and we want to kill it. That's about it. Everything else that happens is pretty nonsensical, but that's the core idea. So the guy you just saw walking in is like a team leader who puts together a squad of waifus in order to fight this squid. And the squid's not really doing anything. It just kind of looks like a 3D asset for a tentacool. It's just like this weird, goofy, like, vanilla ice cream cone squid thing that just floats around and doesn't actually participate or fight back at all, really.
You get introduced to some of the other team members here as they're practicing their combat abilities. And keep in mind, this is 2004, so the 3D, the CGI, it, it's a little rough here. It's looking straight out of Beast Wars, but it's doing its best, goddammit. There is a sin that is unforgivable no matter what year this came out in, and that's the way it's edited. I swear to God, no scene lasts longer than like five or six seconds, maybe. Outside of that intro shot of the Earth that went on forever, everything else is if is if the person who made it forgot to take their ADHD medication, and they're just constantly jumping from like a million things back and forth all the time. So nothing actually ever connects. <laughs> That's not me editing this at all. That's just how it is in the movie. It, it's like an AMV where they try and capture the most boring moments imaginable. So I don't know what any of that was or how it connects even after finishing the movie. This whole movie is just like a series of random fever dream moments. It's like you're trying to remember a weird dream you had, but you only have those fragments. That's this movie. That's all it's composed of. Just random scenes that they animated for some reason and then they just threw them all together. There's nothing that connects them and then there's nothing that makes sense. For example, them on like the hydraulic ass pounder machine, it doesn't really do anything. It's there for a split second. It's like this subliminal messaging almost. Just like flashes of images that are hard to process because they don't last long enough to really grasp them. <laughs> I'm cutting out a lot here, but eventually they get in their skelters and they start fighting the squid. Uh, things aren't going amazing, and then it's revealed that the girl is actually an artificial life who's in love with that guy from earlier. And it all comes out of nowhere, it doesn't really make sense, and you don't really give a fuck. I mean, it's hard to make anyone care about these characters in 18 minutes. But they like tried to speed run a nonsensical plot and then still tried to add so much to it and gave it so much fluff. Somehow it's 18 minutes, but it feels like it's 16 minutes too long. It's just crazy. Like nothing they did worked here in the slightest. But let's go ahead and show you their triumphant victory over the squid. <laughs> Yeah, cut out some things, but this is the gist of how it happens. It doesn't make sense in the anime either. So, basically, they cut it with a sword and some, like, pillow stuffing falls out. And then all of a sudden, she's somehow jacked into the core of the squid, who I, I guess is like beaming words into her head, saying something about human desire. And she's like, it, it's just a small group of humans that have desires like that and can't control them. And then fucking locks and loads, I guess. But it, again, like it doesn't show any of that. That's my assumption is that she starts just fucking blasting the core. Uh, but who knows, really? Maybe she beat it in a philosophical debate and it just blew up from the the facts and knowledge that she dropped all the logic uh, anyway it catches smoke falls and dies the end or is it <laughs> The squid had some friends, and they're equally as menacing. So yeah, I mean, that's where that, that movie ends. Uh, definitely a bit of a super stinker. Uh, worse than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. It was a big waste of time. So if you have 20 minutes that you just want to waste, I guess this is a good way of doing it. I would say that there definitely are moments where it is, like, fun bad. And it's not long, so it's not the worst use of your time if you just want to kick back and make some, make fun of something with your friends. Uh, definitely a good start, though, for locating the worst anime ever made. I, I do think this is probably going to be up there towards, like, the top 10, top 15 ever. This is 
really bad. Uh, that's about it. See ya.